Hello Exiles and this is Fusion Gaming and today this is a quick video we're on day 10 just wanted to give a quick update on where I am up to with the build the build is absolutely smashing it and we're gonna have a good chat about it in a minute if you are new to the channel welcome welcome um, go check out my other videos I've done many videos in regards to running through the axe how to get through tier 1 to tier 16 maps how to use third-party apps and there's a series of other videos on my channel go and check them out but today let's jump straight into the build so today um, if I remember rightly last the last video I did on day 5 we discussed the fact that I was just doing penance brand I am now into that build and it is absolutely monstering content I did use yesterday I did an uber maven um, didn't really drop much I think I dropped in um, an awakened like I thought, what did I drop now awakened oh yeah, awakened uh, unbound elements that was the one and didn't get didn't get a progenesis unfortunately <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I did an uber cortex I haven't done a uber searing exact or eater of worlds as of yet but I do feel that the build is doing very very well at the moment I'm not going to spend 20 minutes going through every single item here, but if anyone wants to know, the build at the moment is doing around about 103 million DPS. That is in terms of Guardian uh, Guardian Pinnacle Boss, and in terms of Uber, uh, sorry, Uber DPS, it's currently doing around about 34 million DPS. So it is very, very, very powerful. So first of all, we're running a Prophecy Void Battery Wand, with the plus one power charge obviously it's got on the elemental damage per quality so i've got it to 30 percent i'm then running a will clash helmet which has got another corruption of plus one power charge and it's also got plus two to socketed lightning gems which is always amazing and i have in there a penance brand of conduction so that is basically the clearing skill so i use that when i'm running around maps and i'm clearing big packs also on there as you can see you get increased spell damage per power charge and you get increased um, sorry, chance to block, sorry, block spell damage per power charge and elemental damage per power charge. The other mods that are on there don't really matter because we are running Rallakesh's Impatience Boots, which since the rework in the last patch, they are pretty much busted. It means that you counters always having the maximum number of power endurance and frenzy charges. So as per this, it says here that you lose all power charges when you block. Well, no, I don't because I always have maximum. But what I am gaining from this is the chance to block spell damage and the elemental damage. The shield, I'm picking up another two power charges. You then have increased damage, spell damage again per power charge. And again, it says there, lose all power charges, but I don't because of the boots. So again, doesn't matter. And it says there that I shock when I reach maximum power charges, which I am always at maximum power charges, which means that I always shock, which is amazing. Shock always inflicts a nice big chunk of damage. Next thing is I am then running a Badge of the Brotherhood. Now with the Badge of the Brotherhood, it then increases your frenzy charges equal to that of your power charges. So at the moment I am running 12 power charges, so that means that I now have 12 frenzy charges, which frenzy charges provide you with a decent bonus in terms of stats. Frenzy charges will provide you with a cast speed modifier and a damage modifier and an attack speed modifier. Now that is pretty big, obviously 4% more damage per frenzy charge and I have 12. Next thing that I am running then is a Graven Secret Belt. Now this build was slightly concerned in terms of resists. I was a little bit low in terms of resists, so I managed to get a quite a good roll with this one. So this one gives you another power charge. I got a 56 lightning res and I actually got the implicit of elemental res as well to try and help me. The implicit that is on this belt is a block and stun recovery. So it's pretty much a dead mod. You don't really need it. The last items that are in the build are then a nice ring because you are attribute starved because of all the uniques that are in the build. So nice ring that's got a bit of dex, bit of strength, energy shield, a bit of chaos res, the elemental damage of the attack skills is a dead mod and the non-channeling skills again helps in terms of, uh, in terms of cost but it's not really needed. Next thing is again more attributes, strength and dex, physical damage against, not needed, fire resist, I did need fire resist, and it's got energy shield. That is basically it. Now you probably noticed that on none of my items, I don't have any life. Look at the gloves as well. Bit of dex, bit of evasion and energy shield, bit of mana, ton of resists, and again, stun and block recovery was just a dead mod. 
I did that so that it was blocked out so there was no life. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm wearing the chest that was uh, put into the league last, le last, last league in Trial of the Ancestors, which is Utila's Hunger. Now if you read on there at the bottom mod, it has 1000 to maximum life if there is no life on any other equipped items which is pretty busted so there if i don't have any life on anything then i get a thousand life now with all the other increments on your tree that does help it also has a nice chunk of armor on there it's got 1300 armor and recover two percent of life on kill that could be three percent but for what i got there i think i got a pretty good roll there also because this is a strength base and i needed six blue i managed to get the implicit on the top there for the enchant of increased explicit life modifiers and has no red sockets i threw around about i think it was around about 200 tainted chromes so i bought a six link i corrupted it and then i threw about 200 tainted chromes at one to test it and i could not hit six blue so then i gave up and we did this instead and we rolled no red sockets and we managed to hit six blue i believe in no more than five chromes which is ridiculous could have saved myself a hell of a lot of money in terms of the rest of the build, it's nothing crazy. The only other thing that I am running is I'm running a That Which Was Taken, which has got a nice area of effect per power charge. It's got damage taken from mana before life, which I am already a Hierophant, so I am getting 40% mind over matter, 10% from the tree here, and I'm getting another 3%. So I am a total of 53% of any damage is taken from my mana. Now, my mana, I'm using Eldritch Battery. So it's actually taking it from my energy shield. And as you can see here, my energy shield is 1,847. So 53% of damage that hit me is taken off that shield first. The last one there, critical strike multiplier per power charge is huge. The bottom one is a dead mod, but it couldn't. I couldn't really get a fourth decent mod without paying nearly a mirror with those top three mods. The rest of the build, again, like I said, it's very simple. I have a nice crit multi, crit multi, crit multi jewel there. I have a, another, um, I have a watch's eye over here, which has got damage leads to life as vitality, penetrates lightning resist, affected by wrath. And again, malevolence is a dead mod, but to get those two top ones was very, very, very cheap. And that is pretty much it. And then we're rolling this militant faith which has got on there brand damage and elemental resistances because you are starved for elemental resistances. So when you take this, it then helps you with your resists. You then obviously get, if you get the right one, so Dominus, High Templar Dominus, you then get this keystone, which gives you even more spell damage per power charge. Okay. And the last thing is in terms of survivability, it is very, very tanky. You have nearly 30% damage recoup right here. I am running a 10%, 10% less physical damage taken while on full energy shield. Well, I am always on full energy shield. I have got a light uh, spell damage leached as energy shield node there. <clears throat> I'm converting my physical all to lightning. And let's go over to the left side. I am corrupted blood immune. I've got a nice chunk of chaos res. So if we have a look at my resists here. 76 76 and 67 we got nearly 11,000 armor and 7,900 evasion if i pop all of my flasks we're at 15,000 armor and again it's still 7,000 that doesn't change but obviously in terms of block as well the block is obviously at 75 and it goes up to 32 so the block is relatively good as well down here we're picking up more resistances more armor again armor applies to our chaos damage taken and again down here we have more life more armor and less damage taken from crits then final thing is in terms of charms we take a crit strike multi per power charge and chance to block attack damage same again crit multi per power charge and final one i wanted crit strike chance at maximum power charges and i added another 15 percent resist in there as well to try and help me that is pretty much the build in its entirety if you are wanting a copy of the POB, put it in the comments and I can always provide it. I just, I didn't know if anyone wanted to run this build, but it is very, very strong. It's very, very powerful. In terms of single target damage, you would use Penance Brand of Dissipation. You put it in a six link. And if you want the clearing skill, then you would use Penance Brand of Conduction. 
at the moment i am just mapping just going through i have completed my atlas pretty much there is one map that i have not seen to drop yet which has been a bit of a pain which is acton's nightmare uh, a friend of mine did borrow it with me last night so i do have it i just haven't ran it yet but it's a case of that there's no real the only thing i'm going to get is one more skill point and that's pretty much it other than that there's nothing else more to do i've had i've been doing some sextant rolling i've made quite a bit of money and i've thrown it all into the build in terms of the actual uh season itself if you're enjoying the league and you're getting some good drops so you're having some crazy drops like some other streamers have seen dropping 70 divines or 100 divines from one monster throw it down in the comments let me know and i will be sure to give you a mention in the next video other than that thank you for watching stay safe and stay sane exile.